For humans to survive, eating is a need, and it is also vital to our general health and well-being. From fruits and vegetables to meat and dairy items, humans eat a wide array of foods. Humans depend on a complicated digestive system that starts in the mouth to properly digest these foods and extract the nutrients our bodies require. Yet, did you know that some insects utilize the soles of their feet to taste their food? While both humans and insects must eat to receive nutrients, their eating habits are very different. Typically, humans chew and cut food into smaller pieces with their jaws and teeth before swallowing. The food is then further broken down by the digestive system in the stomach and intestines, where nutrients are extracted and transported to the body's cells. On the other hand, depending on their species and the kind of food they eat, insects have a vast variety of feeding techniques. Number one on our list are those lovely and colorful butterflies. Butterflies use their feet, which have specific parts called chemoreceptors, or taste receptors, to taste their food. These sensors help the butterfly identify whether the food being walked on is a good source of honey or other nutrients. By detecting its chemical composition, a butterfly extends its proboscis, a long, tube-like mouthpart, when it lands on a flower or other food source, and utilizes it to suck up the liquid or nectar. The butterfly can taste the chemicals on the food source by touching the surface with its feet as it moves around on it. The butterfly will keep eating the food source if the chemicals are alluring. While butterflies do have taste receptors on their feet, it's crucial to remember that these are not the only ways they can taste their food. On their proboscis, butterflies also have taste receptors that enable them to assess the sweetness and other characteristics of the nectar they are consuming. Next, there are flies. Flies use specific taste receptors on their mouthparts and feet to taste their meals. The fly can sense the chemical makeup of the food by landing on it or touching it, thanks to these gustatory receptors. A fly extends its proboscis as it arrives at a potential food source and uses it to investigate and taste the food. The fly uses its feet at the same time to touch and taste the food, and if it finds it appetizing, it will continue to eat it. Fly infestations are common around ripe fruit, sugary beverages, and other sweet meals because flies are drawn to sweet and sugary foods and substances. Do you see them marching? Next are the ants. Ants utilize their taste buds to judge the quality of their meal, and they have specialized structures on their legs and mouthparts called taste hairs. Ants can detect the presence of food and assess its nutritional content thanks to their chemically sensitive taste hairs. They will use their mandibles to bite off a small piece of any prospective food source once they find it and transport it back to the nest. The ant will distribute the food to other colony members once it returns to its nest. Ants distribute food between one another and assess its quality using their antennae and mouthparts. If it's nutritious and safe to eat, they will continue to forage for more. The ant colony's survival depends on its capacity to taste and assess food since it enables them to locate and utilize food sources effectively. Next on our list are the beetles. Oops! Not the rock band. Beetles, like butterflies, taste food using chemoreceptors, a sensory organ that can be found on beetles' mouthparts and antennae. Beetles can recognize and react to chemical signals in their surroundings particularly those connected to food, thanks to their chemoreceptors. Some beetles look for food sources by using their sense of smell. They have unique antennae with odor receptors that let them recognize and track the fragrance of food. Beetles can locate and absorb the materials they need to thrive with efficiency because they can taste and smell food. Overall, beetles have a highly developed mechanism for evaluating food that is essential to their survival and ability to procreate. Beetles can efficiently discover and take advantage of food sources even in difficult or competitive conditions by being able to recognize and react to chemical signals in their environment. Oh, they are here. Do you hear those buzzing sounds? It's the bees. Like butterflies and beetles, bees use their chemoreceptors to taste their food. These receptors react to various chemical substances found in food. A bee uses its proboscis to gather honey or pollen from a source and transmit it to its mouth. The bee can assess the quality of the meal by using its chemoreceptors to identify the amount of sugar and other chemical substances in the nectar or pollen. The bee will continue to gather food if it is nutritious and of high quality and will bring it back to the hive to share it with other bees. The bee will go and look for a better source of food if the current offering is inadequate. 
It's interesting to note that bees can identify several flower species based on taste and scent, which are essential for them in foraging and pollination. Last on our list is mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are known for their capacity to consume both human and animal blood. Their taste organs include the tarsal from the legs, the labellum, and the labrum from their mouth parts and cibarium, with the tarsal as the first organ to make contact with a possible food or blood source. Mosquitoes taste with their legs to decide whether to bite or flee, with body odors and carbon dioxide also playing a part. Laboratory tests have revealed that blood type O and beer drinkers are two of the mosquitoes' preferred scents. And that completes our list of insects that taste their foods using their feet. If you find this weird, interesting, or fun facts, I appreciate you subscribing and hitting that like button. That's all folks, and I'll see you in the next video.